What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, all current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Caps reside everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. Um, if you guys like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. Um, thanks for all the new subscribers. I have uh, personal rings are open, but most of the slots are closed. So you have to text me to book, and I have a new service. Uh, life coaching, if anybody's interested, love you guys. This is Free General Collective Reading for week two of uh, October of 2022. This can resonate if you have Libra in any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. North Node, Menhaven, or Jupiter charts. Um, I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Menhaven, or Jupiter charts for um, additional message or messages. Okay, so um, I received two channel messages as I was meditating on your energy, Libra. And the first one I heard a sick mother was the first one. And the second one I heard a new car. And I did hear car. I didn't hear Jeep. I didn't hear SUV. I didn't hear van. I heard car. So... You plug it in how it resonates. So a sick mother and a new car. Energies can be reversed. It could be your sick mother or somebody you're connected to sick mother or a sick mother. Um, however, that resonates and applies in your life. And a new car could be you getting a new car. Somebody you're connected to getting a new car. Or to me, that could be a new new car or a new to you car or a new to them car. However, that resonates and applies. Okay. Kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. Hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. Chain, chain of events that will affect your life. Like series of chain of events is what that is. So a sick mother and a new car. How does that resonate and applies in one's life, Libra? Of course, as always, only take the message or messages that resonate with the rest. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Don't be forcing anything. Does it fit? Spirit messages you have to tell me. Camel. I heard try again. I got buffalo. I heard try again. Spirit messages. Okay. Crow. For some, you could be dealing with a earth sign or air sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And there's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Menhaven, or Jupiter charts. If you are Libra, a neighbor is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. Very significant. Seven in a positive way, seven in a negative way. Okay, so for at least two of you guys, a neighbor is about to become very significant in your life. Some of you guys in a positive way, some in a negative way. Some kind of neighbor energy. So however that resonates applies. One, you live in an apartment. One, you live in a single family dwelling. One, you live in an apartment. And one, you live in a single family dwelling. So for some of you guys, you live in a single family dwelling. Um, one, you live in an apartment. And a neighbor is about to become significant in some of you guys' life, either in a positive or negative way. Um, we have refuge as well. That could be the your home. Um, refuge can be taken many different ways, but this could be your heart. Uh, I can't speak. Your apartment, your single family dwelling, or um, what have you, what have you. Uh, number 16 could be very significant number of one's life as well. Number 16, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 16. Camel. A Taurus really thought they were going to use a Leo. You are getting a huge wake-up call and realizing they're not. And... They are getting a huge wake-up call and realizing they're not. Things are actually reversing on them now. For one, you know this. For one, you're about to realize this. Oh, my God. Okay. So, some kind of Taurus and Leo energy. A Taurus thought they were going to use a Leo. 
uh, feel for some of you know this Taurus and you know this Leo. You have to plug the Taurus and Leo in your own particular life and situation, how they resonate. Masculine femme Taurus, masculine femme Leo, but some Taurus energy, I think this is your Taurus energy, the camel energy. They thought they were going to use a Leo. So like use and abuse energy. Um, now that could be energy, time, or money. They thought they were going to use this person. But, you know, users and abusers, they're never they're never good for society. They're never good for oh, the other ones using them. I mean, they're just not. Um, but I did hear the Taurus thought they were going to use the Leo. So they thought they were going to gain something from this person. But I heard it hasn't happened. It hasn't happened. One, you've already realized it. One, you're about to. And it's actually reversed upon, energetically reversed upon this Taurus. So, meaning, I think the Taurus is being used. Not by the Leo, but by somebody else. Um, because I heard the energies reversed upon them. So, they thought, this Taurus thought they were going to use this Leo. Use and abuse this Leo. Either energy, time, or money. But the energy has reversed upon the Taurus. It didn't work out that way. Now, they, I think they're being used. They're being used in a huge way as a huge workhorse. They're being used in a huge way as a workhorse is what I heard. My God. So this Taurus is coming in strong in your reading, Libra. I think you know them. I heard they're being used as a workhorse. So the Taurus thought they were going to use the, the Leo. Um, but it didn't work out that way. Um, but the Taurus is being used by somebody else as a workhorse. I don't think by the Leo. Um, I think by somebody else. Um, but that's how energy works, man. I mean, that's why you have to keep your, uh, intentions positive, your thoughts positive, your, your intentions into the universe positive, because if you don't energetically, it will, karma will boomerang around. And that's just the truth. Um, I heard for some, you already know this, for some, you're about to learn this. So I think, you know, this Taurus, I think, you know, this Leo, I think, you know, this situation, or you're about to learn it, how that resonates and applies. But here's your Taurus energy, whoever this person is in your life. For some, they are a property manager. For some, they are a politician. For some, they are a bigwig in a uh, corporate conglomerate. For some, they are RN. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. For some, they're like a bigwig in a corporate conglomerate. Some, they're a property manager. Some, they're a RN. And who was the other one? Um, I forget the other one. For some, they are officer of the law. And for some, they're officer of the law. And for some, they're officer of the law. So you have to plug this person, uh, these Tauruses in, how they resonate in your own life. They are uh, Libra. Man. A significant meeting at night is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. Very important meeting. A very important meeting at night is about to very significant in one of you guys' life. So we have the moon there. So nighttime energy, moon, nighttime. For some, you could be meeting with the Pisces because they have moon up here or not. I didn't hear you were. But some kind of nighttime meeting is about to significant. And I think it's going to create a series of chain of events that will either positively affect you and whoever you're meeting with or negatively affect. But I think it's going to create some kind of series of chain of events, this meeting at night. It's about to become very significant, whatever meeting this is and how this applies. A Libra, through many series of chain of events, is about to find out. That a Scorpio is about to be terminated. Their position of high authority, you never thought this would happen the way it's about to happen, but it is about to happen. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Oh, man. Okay, so Scorpionic energy. So I think this is it. This, this. Um, some kind of Scorpionic energy. Um, whoever this person is, masculine or feminine, I heard their position of high authority. Um, in a corporate conglomerate. In a corporate conglomerate. They're a position of authority in a corporate conglomerate. And I heard they're about to get terminated for many series of chain events. Heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. You never thought it was going to happen this way. So, um, unsettled times need to plan ahead. Um, you obviously know this, Scorpio. It's either a person in your present or a person in your past. Series of chain events. 
that's going to affect the Scorpio's life. It might affect your life if you're financially connected to them or romantically connected to them or maybe they're family or what have you, what have you. Um, you have to plug this Scorpio in, how they resonate. It's a masculine Scorpio. They're position of authority in a corporate conglomerate. Crow. A Sagittarius high in the spiritual realm. She has been abused for, by her ex-husband. For one, you know this person. Through many series of chain events, she's about to get out of the abuse. One, you're going to be very happy for her. One, you're not. You have been secretly competing with her. Oh, okay. So some kind of Sagittarius energy, very high in the spiritual realm. So um, she, she may be a reader, I'm feeling. She might be a reader or just a lifestyle spiritualist. Um, it, she, she don't have to read, but she is very high in the spiritual realm, like ethers realm. I mean, like high in the spiritual realm. Um, so she doesn't have to read. She doesn't have to have a public platform, but she may. Um, but she's very high vibrational, Sag. She can have Sag in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, Man, Hammer, Jupiter charts. I heard she's been abused by her ex-husband uh, for a while. Um, for years. For years. For years. So she's been sustaining abuse from her ex-husband for years. Um, but soon she's about to break away. She's about to break away. So series of chain events are about to occur where she's about to break away from the abuse of her ex-husband. Her, for one, you'll be very happy for her. So I think you're positively connected to her or you know her. She's part of your past or what have you, what have you. For one, you're going to be mad because you're secretly competing with her. So there's jealousy, envy, envy maliciousness, spitefulness there because you're secretly competing with her. I don't know if you're secretly competing because of her ex-husband or because she's high in the spiritual realm or why you're secretly competing. Only you, the one that's secretly competing, only you know why you're secretly competing with her, Libra. But whoever's secretly competing with her, you're obviously low vibrational. You don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. I tell you that. But one, you're going to be happy for her, so you're high vibing. So kudos to you. But um, she's a she's a high vibrational Sag, fam. And um, she's in her 40s. She's in her 40s. She's in her 40s. And she's been abused by her ex-husband. It sounds like he's been strategically abusing her for years. But series of chain events, she's about to break away from the abuse. Um, so she's about to fly. She's about to fly the coop, go to refuge from abuse from her ex-husband for years. Kudos, Sagittarius, high vibrational Sagittarius, ma'am. If you watch my video, uh, watch this video, ma'am. I'm I'm very happy for you. She's about to get the hell out of there and get the hell out of there quick. It's about to benefit her in a huge way. And she will pay it forward to a Leo feminine in a huge way. Okay, I heard she's about to get the hell out of there and get the hell out of there quick and when she's able to break away. Doesn't sound like she's able to break away yet. Um, but when she does, her she's going to pay it forward to a Leo Femme in a huge way. So, refuge away from abuse from her ex-husband for years and flying the coop. She's got the world in her hands. And once she's able to have the world in her hands, she's going to create a series of chain events to get the hell out of there. One, you're going to be happy for her. One, you're not. But if you're not happy for her, you need to reevaluate why you're not happy for her. And I just be in for real. Okay? Because nobody should have to sustain abuse from ex-husbands, from fathers, from step monsters, from foster monsters, from anybody. And that's just the truth. Hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. But I will tell you that Sagittarius uh, feminine high in their spiritual realm, she's in her 40s. She is positively connected to a Leo feminine. She's positive, positively connected to a Leo fem. I heard she's going to pay it forward to her. So I feel for some, you might know this Leo fem, um, pos uh, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. 
Tammy, taking a vacation physically or mentally? Her is going to be like the best thing to ever happen to her. So, I mean, I didn't hear a location of where she's going or how like extreme details of it. But she has been stuck and stagnant for years. And something's about to break free to where she can go. Thank God for that. I feel for some you might help her break free. I feel for some you might help her break free is what I feel. Um, but one, you're jealous. I'll tell you that. Hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally. Significant screenshots and postings on a social media platform is about some very significant in Libra's life. Some, they're your postings and your screenshots. Some, they're not. But about to become very significant. Okay. So, okay, and I did a reading earlier today on some kind of screenshots. Um, that are about to get sent to the feds. One's already been sent. One's about to be. Um, I don't know if you are involved in this Libra or or what have you, what have you. But somebody's already sent some screenshots and social media stuff to feds. Somebody's about to. And I'm just being real. Okay, so some kind of significant screenshots on social media platform. That could be any social media platform. Facebook, IG, Twitter, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay? Her for one. You, it sounds like you wrote the post or you participated in some kind of chat in the screenshots or posting or something. For one, you did not. It sounds like for one, you're about to come across this posting or this screenshot or this social media posting or something. One, you participated in the verbalage, in the writing of it. Um, I heard it's about to become significant in your life. So I feel you were either the writer or writers of the screenshot or screenshots or whatever whatever on the social media platform posting or you're about to come across it or be sent it however that resonates and applies but however that resonates it's about to become significant in your life whether it was your john hancock that participated in this with screenshots um or you're coming across it okay for some i feel you might feel I, for some, I feel it might be unsettling. For some, I feel it's going to create a series of chain of events. One, you will be sent this. And it's about to be sent fast. One, you're about to be sent this and it's about to be sent fast. So for one, you're about to um, be sent this, sent this screenshot, sent the, um, send the screenshots and send the um, social media posting or whatever, 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 whatever. And for one, you're not. Um, I think one, you wrote it. I think one, you were author of authors and it's your stuff that's screenshotted. And for one, I think you're about to be sent it. And for one, you could be sending it. But a lot of series of chain of events are about to be uh, occur here. About to be sent to a lot of people, a lot of people, and fast. About to be sent to a lot, a lot, a lot of people, and fast. So this is very significant screenshot and posting on a social media platform, whether you're the author or one of the authors, or you're getting sent it, or you're sending it, or what have you, what have you. Taking a vacation physically or mentally.
a teenage daughter of yours is about to want to go on a vacation many states away. For one, the father is about to let her. It's about to be terrible mistake, a terrible mistake. For one, you're not going to allow it. And it's going to be the best thing that ever happened. Okay, so heavy teenage daughter energy. There's two situations here. I feel it's your teenage daughter. or uh, I feel it's your teenage daughter. Or you have guardianship of the teenage daughter. Um, or your uh, foster parent. Or biological parent. Or what have you, what have you. But heavy teenage daughter here. I feel you have custody or visitation rights. Or joint custody or something. However that resonates, that applies. Only you know your situation with this teenage daughter. But how that resonates, um, one, you're not going to allow her to go. So you have the authority and power and consent not to allow her to go, like guardianship energy. And I heard it's going to be the best thing that ever happened. Hershey's going to want to take a vacation many states away. So she wants to take a physical vacation many states away. It's a teenage daughter. But I heard it's going to be you making that decision not to let her go. It's going to be the best thing that ever happened. For one, of you. For one I heard the father. So I don't feel if this, if you're the mother here, of the teenage daughter, which I feel whoever this is for, you probably are. The father is going to have consent, has the authority to allow her to go. And I heard he is going to allow her to go. And I heard it's going to be the worst thing to ever happen. Um, many negative series of chain of events are going to occur here. Many. It's going to be really bad. Okay, I heard many negative series of chain of events are going to occur here. Many, and it's going to be really bad. So it sounds like the father is going to have consent and authorization to allow her to go. And it sounds like he's going to grant her that wish to go. Um, and once she goes, I heard it's many states away. I didn't hear specifically what states. There's going to be some kind of negative series of chain of events occur here. And I heard it's going to be very bad. So it doesn't sound like she's going to be around right people or right personnel or right energies. And it sounds like she's going to get in trouble or be neglected or... Um, have somebody uh, around her and not the best interest of her, basically. And it's going to create negative series of chain of events, which is really terrible. Um, but um, in this situation, Libra, it's the father that's going to make the call to let her go. Um, so I don't know if you have what kind of rights you have there, but it sounds like it's either on his time to allow her to go or he has full custody, or what have you, what have you. I don't know the custodial arrangements here, but um, it's him allowing her to go, but it's about to, it sounds like it's about to become a hot mess express, um, and I'm just being for real. Someone might have to end up going to get her. She might end up in the hospital. Is it going to be that bad? Party, 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 party. Oh, my God. Whoa. Okay. I heard somebody might have to end up going to get her. So, a series of chain of events. Somebody might have to go get her out of state. Uh, party, 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 party. She might end up in the hospital. So, I wonder if she's going to get alcohol intoxication, alcohol poisoning, or drug overdose or something. Um, I didn't specifically hear that, but that's my intuitive logic and reasoning on this. Party, party, party. She's going to be around some really heavy partiers. I'm thinking drunks or addicts or a combination or just very young, immature people that do not care about their body or their self-worth, and they just want to booze it up or drug it up. How that resonates and applies. I think you're going to have to take a mental vacation from this, and maybe a physical vacation. Or one, you might have to go get her. It's a teenage daughter. I feel for a lot of you guys, it's your teenage daughter, whether it's a foster daughter, a biological daughter, or a guardian, or what have you, what have you, okay? Yikes. I am sorry for whoever that's for. That is terrible. PTO is about to become significant in a Libra, Libra's life. And PTO is about to become significant in a Libra's life. PTO, pay time off. Pay time off. So you, you might take a physical vacation. 
a staycation, uh, whatever, whatever. But it sounds like PTO, it sounds like you're going to take PTO or somebody you're connected to is about to take PTO. PTO is paid time off for anybody who doesn't know. Kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. A particular Libra, high vibrational Libra, is getting a huge wake-up call. Very huge wake-up call. They are realizing they got lied to in a huge way in the past, and they did. Seeing very clearly now. Okay. So, very high vibrational Libra. I feel you can be masculine or feminine. You have to plug yourself in where you fit, Libra. You're high vibrational. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Heard you realized you were lied to in a huge way in the past. Um, and I heard you are, you are, for strategic reasons, for strategic reasons, you were lied to for strategic reasons, but I heard you're seeing very clearly now, so you realize you were lied to, but just know, if this is for you, you were lied to for strategic reasons. This Libra will probably create a series of chain of events soon. They do not appreciate it. Okay. Uh, okay, I have operational Libra. I heard you're going to create series, probably create series uh, chain events soon. Uh, I think to benefit yourself or benefit a situation or benefit some 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 reason you were strategically lied to. You're strategically lied to. You are realizing it now. You see very clearly now. I don't think you saw clearly in the past. But it sounds like you're going to create series of chain events soon. I think to benefit you or to benefit. Or to find the truth or something. However that resonates and applies. Only you know what kind of series of chain of events you're going to create soon. Um, but I think it's to find out the truth. Well, I heard you already know the truth. You know the truth. So I don't know if it's to... I don't know why. I don't know why. what kind of series of chain of events you're going to create. Um, only you know that, not anybody else. But you were strategically lied to. Uh, but you know this. You know this now. So... A very low vibrational party, 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 Pisces is about to become a huge headache in your life. A very huge headache. You're about to ever regret getting involved with this person. Okay. A very low vibrational um, Pisces energy. Mask or fin Pisces. I heard they're a party, 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 partier. Um, I heard you're about to ever regret getting involved with this person. Lover, sneaky link, co-worker. Lover, sneaky link, and co-worker is what I heard. So for some of you guys, it's your lover. For some, it's your sneaky link. And for some, it's your co-worker. But whoever this Pisces is, they're low vibrational. They, I mean, they're partier. They're party animal, man. Um, I think they're, un, I think they're unsettling. Um, I think they might come in drunk or come in high or come in and not do their job or stumble around or if you're the co-worker in this situation. Um, for some, if you're the third party or the sneaky link, I mean, third parties and sneaky links never work out because there's a reason you're a third party and sneaky link. It never is started on good pretenses. 99% of the time, it never ends on good pretenses. And that's just the truth. That's why I don't do third parties and sneaky links. Even being single for so long, as long as I have, when I dated, I was very upfront. And if they lied to me, I broke up with them, period. I don't want to be lied to, and I'm not going to lie to you. And that's just the truth. But third, and I never put anybody in third parties or sneaky links ever because of these situations. If it starts that way, it usually always 99% of the time ends up that way because it was started on a lie, false pretenses. And that's just the truth. If anybody needs to hear that. But one of you guys, it's your co-worker. It's a party, 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 Pisces. Mask or femme, party Pisces. And I think they're very unsettling. Um, for some, they can be mentally unstable. And maybe that's why they're consuming, partying all the time, all the drugs and alcohol. Maybe they, I don't know why they're, why they're reaching out to drugs and alcohol. I, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not them. But uh, somehow, it sounds like they're already a huge headache in your life or they're about to become. I think they're going to make you unsettled co-worker, Libra, or Sneaky Link or third party. Now, I would never do third parties or situationships, Sneaky Links. Now, one of you guys, at least two of you guys are in some kind of third party or Sneaky Link. You have the free will to get out of this shit if you want to, but um, I wouldn't do it. 
it doesn't sound whoever you're in the sneaky link this party 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 pisces here it doesn't sound like they're mentally stable and i'm just being for real i mean i don't care how good they look on paper how good they look in a photo they don't seem st mentally stable why are they turned into drugs and alcohol one needs to question themselves that why are they turned into drugs and alcohol you're supposed to elevate and learn from lessons and grow in life, not catapult yourself down and weigh yourself down with drugs and alcohol if anybody needs to hear that. Okay? I'm not judging anybody that's in third parties or situationships or sneaky links, but I would think about those kind of things if I was in a relationship with somebody like that, and I'm just being for real. Now, for one, you're their coworker, So I wonder if um, they're going to come in stumbling around or so high that they can't function. Um, and you have to report them or create a series of chain events to get them to have a drug test or some shit. There's a reason I'm pulling the co-worker Libra in here too with this party, party, party Pisces. I heard they're about to become a huge headache in your life. So I don't know if they're going to cause some kind of ruckus at work or ruckus in your love life or what. I, I don't, because we got love, sneaky links, third parties and co-working up in here with this party, party, party Pisces. And we've got the unsettled times need to plan ahead. I think they cause more headaches in your life or about to than, than positivity here. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. One of these Pisces is going to end up with a DUI soon. And they think they're going to be able to bond out of jail, but they're not going to be able to. One, you're going to get the call from jail. Oh my God. Whoa. So there's at least three in here. You know, one, you're, one, you're the coworker, one, you're seeking link, one, you're a um, situation ship. Um, so there's at least three, I feel, three party Pisces. Um, you plug them in, how they resonate, mask or fin. But one of them is going to end up getting a DUI soon. So driving under the influence soon. I think they're going to blow over on the breathalyzer is what I think. I didn't hear that. That's just my intuitive logic and reasoning on this. They're going to blow over on the breathalyzer and I'm presuming and get arrested. They think they're going to bond out. But I heard there's many through series of chain events. They're not going to be able to. So I think the background check is going to come back. And maybe they haven't, maybe there's a warrant out. Or maybe there's something significant on their background check to where they, they're not going to release them. Um, or something of that nature. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. That's just my intuitive logic and reasoning on this. Because there's a reason they won't, they think they're going to get, be able to bond out, but they're not. But I think it's because something's going to end up coming back on their background check when they pull their social, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, in the jail. And uh, they're not going to be able to release them. This Pisces thought they were going to be able to release them. They're not. It is about to go completely the other way. Completely. It's about to go completely the other way. Completely. Um, so they think it's going to go, they think they're going to be able to bond out, but they're not. It's going to go completely the other way. Um, and one of you guys, you're going to get the phone call from jail. So the phone call from this party, 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 Pisces. Hey, can you come get me? Now, of course, you have the free will. Whatever, you, you know, if you choose to come get this person, um, if they were, I mean, depending on when they release them, apparently it's not going to be, it sounds like they're going to have to stay at least one night. Um, of course, you have the free will to go get them. But for one, you're going to get the phone call. I heard a DUI. So... They apparently like, they love to drink, apparently. And apparently they have, they are irresponsible and they drive when they drink. Well, I don't think we're talking about social drinking here. And I'm just being for real. Chain, chain of events that will affect one's life. An Aquarius feminine is about to be terminated through many series of chain of events. For one, you knew it was coming, and for one, you didn't. 
This is about to be very significant. Okay, and Aquarius Femme, through many series of chain events, they're about to be terminated soon. For one, you knew it was coming. For one, you didn't. Um, but it's about to be very significant that this Aquarius Femme is about to be terminated. So, it's not, obviously not you, Libra. It's somebody you're connected to or somebody you're past. It's some kind of Aquarius Feminine. Uh, through many series of chain events, they're about to be terminated. So, let go. I don't know if this is wrongful termination or not wrongful termination. I'm not sure. Only... You're, there's a reason I'm pulling this Aquarius in your reading. So, I if this resonates for you, I'm assuming you would know the situation and story there. But some kind of Aquarius feminine energy about to get terminated. Or there's two of them. Two of them. Um, one, you knew it was coming. One, you were, you're going to be shocked. So, um, chain of events, soon, this Aquarius feminine is about to be terminated. I didn't hear anything else. Okay. Refuge. A tin roof on a home is significant to a Libra. And oak trees. Oak trees. A tin roof and oak trees are significant to a Libra is what I heard. A tin roof like, like a metal roof. Like a metal roof on a home. Tin roof. Um, a tin roof and oak trees. So oak, I'm, I'm feeling large oak trees. I didn't hear that. But I'm feeling large oak trees. It may be baby sprouts. But they're oak. They're oak. And there's many different types of trees. But um, oak trees are beautiful. So I don't know if I'm feeling large oak trees for some of you guys. For some, they could be little sprouts. But oak trees are significant to at least one of you guys in some kind of tin roof, metal roof. I think you like, we have refuge. So I think you like oak trees or you like metal roofs or tin roofs. Or you're looking about, a, we have refuge. So maybe you have that on your home, a tin roof or a metal roof or you want that on your home. Or... You like oak trees and you want oak trees in your home, on your home spread or homestead or what have you, what have you, or you do have them. Somehow oak trees and metal roof and tin roof or tin roof is significant. How that resonates and applies Libra, okay? An older Sagittarius masculine position, very, 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 very high position of authority through many series of chain events. He's about to move states. He's about to do it quickly. You, He's just about to uproot. You never thought he would. He's, it's about to happen soon. It's about to happen quick. And it's about to shock the hell out of you. He's not going to tell many people he's about to do this. And trust it, there are reasons he's about to. There's about to be some serious chaos in his life unexpectedly, very unexpectedly, and very quickly. He didn't expect it or see it coming, but it's about to come. For one, you are a subordinate of his in a hospital. For one, he works at a skilled nursing facility. For one, he works for the government. There's three of them. Okay, so one, um, they're a very, very, very high position of authority in the hospital. One, they work at a skilled nursing facility, and one, they work for the government. So the government, that could be local, state, federal level. Um, all that resonates and applies. Um, that could be police officers are included in government as well, or any kind of government type position, okay? Sag masculine. Um, government. One, they were a very, very, very high position in a hospital. So I'm thinking like an executive director or a manager or um, or something of that nature. Um, and then this one works at a skilled nursing facility. He could be any occupation in a skilled nursing facility. There's at least three of them, but 
So some kind of chaos, heavy sedge, masculine energy in here. Some I think you guys know one of these or two or two plus of these. Besides masculines. Some kind of heavy chaos is about to occur in their lives. Like aren't unexpectedly, like quickly and unexpectedly. So the unsettled times they need to plan ahead. Like it's gonna happen out of the blue and happen quick. I heard they're not these people, whoever they are, they're not gonna tell people they're about to move, but they are and it sounds like they have the money to do it. Like they, I mean, obviously they're just up and running. So, I mean, they obviously got money for the U-Haul. They've got money for the movers. They've got money to get out and go just so quickly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it sounds like it. I'm just saying, I didn't hear they did, but that's my intuitive logic and reason on this. If you're able to just uproot in the uh, blink of an eye, obviously you have the money just to do it. And there's three of them. So whether they tell you they're wealthy or not, I mean, how can you not know they're wealthy? I mean, I'm from the intu intu intuition here. They're just picking up out of the blue of the night, basically, and just leaving. But what they're not going to tell many people in their town or city or wherever they are, and I feel most of these people work in cities, at least work in the city. They might live in the country for some, but they work in city and eyes areas. Hospital, city, skilled nursing facility, that could be country or city. And then... um what was the other one? Uh, government. Government. That could they could live in the country. I'm not sure. But something is about to happen to where series of chain events quickly and suddenly to where they just up and uproot is what I'm trying to say. There's a reason they're about to up and uproot is what I'm trying to say. For one, I heard you're a subordinate of theirs at the hospital. So you work with this sad masculine, very, very high position, high authority in the hospital. But you're underneath him. So, I mean, I'm feeling you're going into work on Monday or Tuesday or whatever you go in, and then all of a sudden, blah, 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 let's just call him Mark. Mark moved. What? Mark moved? Nobody told me Mark was going to move. You know what I'm saying? Like, no going away party. No nothing, because something is about to occur in these dudes' lives where they're going to either feel the need to up and uproot or they want to up and uproot. Heard it's going to um, happen soon and quickly. So they're about to have unsettled times. But it sounds like they have the money to do it. Some very strange things are about to start occurring to them with them very quickly and very soon. They're about to go. Some very strange things are about to occur with them soon and quickly, and they're about to go. So whether they work at the skilled nursing facility and you work with them there or you're connected to them, whoever this person is, they work at skilled nursing. For one, they work at the hospital. They're very, very, very high up in the hospital. I'm thinking executive director, manager, or whatever, whatever. Um, and one, um, what was the, oh, government, government. That could be local state, uh, federal, whatever, whatever, uh, about to up and go, quick, Sag masculines, they can have Sag in any aspects of their charts, I think they're going to try to find, I think they're going to find refuge, I heard they're going to know it's time to go, they're going to know it's very strange things are going to start happening quickly and soon, and they're going to know it's time to go, get in the hell out of Dodge. It sounds like criminal activity to me. I didn't hear it was, but it kind of sounds like it. Um, but in all fairness, it sounds like these people, I mean, hell, I wonder if, I didn't hear they were criminals, but they're high, they're highly intuitive to know that it's time to go quickly, is what I'm trying to say. So it makes me wonder if they've dabbled in the same kind of activity that's about to happen to them at one point in their life. And it doesn't sound like it's going to be positive activity. And I'm just, I'm just keeping 100 on here. Um, I didn't hear specifically what kind of activity it's going to be, but I mean, I'm just being for real.
A significant re news report is about to become significant in Libra's life. And a news reporter. A significant news report and a news reporter is about to become very significant in your life. So refuge, maybe you're going to run to the news reporter, write the news reporter, contact the news reporter. If this resonates and applies for you, only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. Some, some kind of news report and a news reporter. So I think you're about to contact the news reporter or you're going to have an interview with the news reporter. Read the news report or write the news report or send the news report. Some kind of news report and a news reporter. Whether you are you're finding the news reporter or they're finding you. Whether you stumble across this news report or somebody sends it to you or you're writing it or whatever you, whatever. Some kind of news report and news reporter. You plug it in, how it resonates. A Virgo husband in a nighttime meeting with the brunette female. is about to become very significant in Libra's life. Love triangle. You are a female. Oh, I am. Okay, so if this resonates with you, you're a Libra female. Virgo, masculine, and a, a significant nighttime, heavy nighttime energy here. Nighttime. Nighttime meeting this Virgo, masculine, and a, a brunette female. Um, I didn't hear a sign on her, but her, she's brunette, kind of like me. Um, it's not me. We know that, but some kind of brunette female and this Virgo, masculine, um, nighttime meeting with these two. I heard love triangle, and you're a Libra femme, so I feel maybe this... Virgo masculine has put you in a love triangle with her, um, or is trying to, there's a, I mean, or maybe that's how that resonates. Um, maybe for some, you're his mother. Um, maybe for some, you're the sister. I'm not sure, but Virgo masculine and brunette female meeting at night. It sounds like lover's energy here. Now, however you connect to this, but I heard some kind of love triangle energy. So. However that resonates, Libra, I feel for some of you could be his wife, his girlfriend, his um, fiance, or what have you, what have you. For some of you could be his mom, his sister, neighbor, whatever, whatever, okay? But some kind of nighttime meeting and a love triangle situation between a Virgo masculine and this um, brunette female. Um, I think you're going to catch them. I think you're going to catch them or somebody else is going to catch them. But I think she's the third party. I think she's the love triangle. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I'm in it there. All right, I love you guys. I'm going to say...